and it's insane because it still hasn't really hit me. So the situation hasn't hit you yet, but you know who is going to hit you? Floyd. <laughs> Nah, that's cool. Alright, what's good YouTube? It's your boy, Big Rick back with a brand new reaction. Before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment on what else want me to react to. Now, this is pretty stupid. I am fighting Floyd Mayweather by Deji. Why? You go 0-3 against Jake Paul, Vinny Hacker, who's a TikToker, while you had more boxing experience. You lose against Alex Wasabi. You beat Fousey. You gain your first W to turn around and take a L against arguably the greatest boxer ever. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to do some shit like that. I wouldn't fight Floyd Mayweather if I had one win. That's pretty stupid. He's gonna beat your ass. He's gonna make that whole win against Fusi seem useless. Now, one thing you can gain from this is experience. You're gonna learn something with Floyd Mayweather, at least hopefully before he knocks you out. And I'm pretty sure he's going to knock you the fuck out. You saw what he did to Logan. Everybody's like, oh, Logan survived and this and that. I love Logan Paul. I'm I'm gonna keep it a buck. Floyd Mayweather was stinging him. He was stinging Logan Paul. If Logan, if Floyd Mayweather was heavier, Logan would have got knocked the fuck out. Logan wasn't supposed to get knocked out. He's way heavier than Floyd. You know what I'm saying? Well, Floyd was stinging Logan. I'm keeping shit 100. Floyd was fucking Logan up. And I know he gonna fuck Deji up because Deji and uh, Floyd are almost about the same size. You know what I'm saying? I think they're in the same weight class or some shit like that. We gonna see what he has to say. Um, <laughs> I probably won't agree with any of it. Very weird. I think this. I'm gonna assume it's an exhibition. You know what I'm saying? Don't know where it's gonna take place. Haven't watched this shit, but without further ado, man, please do like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Let's get it. Let's go. Lost again. Whooping your ass. What a lit time though for content. For TikTok versus YouTubers. And then we got it again. And he was stinging Alex, but Alex still came out on top. And Alex was boxing, man. That's three, man. I want you to see me as an example. Yeah, I failed three times. I'm going to carry on boxing, and I'm going to get a victory. Deji 0-3 as a fighter. This is kind of the last chance saloon for him. Deji coming mm. straight ahead. Oh, now you fuck Fousey up. I'll give Deji that, 100%. I'm glad he got his first win, man. Look how hype his brother is. Like, you got to love this kind of moment. We finally got one. All right, what now? Actually, I'm going to pause it before I even get into this, man. It was nice to go in the past to see what Deji has done. Especially uh, for the YouTube boxing community, man. He uh, One thing that he did do, he did deliver a message to never give up. And he did eventually, in the end, get his victory. Got his ass whooped three times in a row to get there. But hey, who's judging? Everybody's judging. That's the issue about the situation. Why are you about to fight Floyd Mayweather if you got... If you won in three? You want to know professionally... But you own three as an amateur. That don't make no sense. Let's continue. Listen, I wish him the best. I'm happy for him. I'm gas for him. Yo, exciting times in the YouTube boxing. I don't know what happens here, but Deji better be careful. I've changed not just the sport of boxing, but sports. Period. Facts. Sports. Period. <laughs> It doesn't even feel real. It, it really doesn't. It doesn't feel like this is actually happening. Yeah. <laughs> but it is happening. <laughs> Why do you make that face? The world's greatest boxer. Arguably the best boxer that's ever lived. Floyd Money Mayweather. <laughs> and I find it crazy that... My whole boxing journey has been been a lot of loss. I've had people tell me to quit boxing after me losing. 
I was an Owen 3 fighter. People were just telling me that this isn't for you. You shouldn't be boxing. You should give up. I don't know about giving up, but... I'm fighting arguably the best boxer in the world. And it's insane because it still hasn't really hit me. <laughs> okay, so the situation hasn't hit you yet, but you know who is going to hit you? Floyd. <laughs> Floyd going to hit you. And Floyd going to let you know what you got yourself into. I don't know. Why the f I don't know what niggas get out of fighting Floyd. I know what Floyd gets. Floyd gets money. And gets to prove that, hey, I still got it, even though I'm an old man. Floyd's 45 years old. He's still whooping everybody's ass. Can we, like, process that? Floyd is not arguably the greatest boxer ever. He is probably the greatest boxer ever. He's 50 and 0. They put 50 opponents in front of this man, and 50 of them came up short. You know, you can call me a dick rider of Floyd Mayweather. First of all, I'm a fan of Floyd Mayweather, so you can say I'm dick. Cried and I'm just a fan. <laughs> I've always been a fan. He's my favorite boxer, period. So, motherfuckers can say what they need to say. I'm more than aware of who Muhammad Ali is. I'm more 100% aware who Iron Mike is. You know, you know what I'm saying? I know who these legendary fighters are, you know? I know who Pacquiao is. I know who Canelo Alvarez is, you know what I'm saying? But motherfuckers know when they hear this name Floyd Mayweather, they know who the fuck that head's turn like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, I don't know why he's fighting this man. I, I genuinely don't know. Let's continue. Are we at nine minutes? Jesus. I still don't feel like it's happening. I'm fighting Floyd November 13th. Damn. In Dubai. Two months. In Dubai. In the okay. Coca Cola Arena. In and the Coca Cola. It's Damn. Crazy that I get to share the ring with the greatest. Someone who was 0 3. Someone who people were just doubting. People were saying that there is no point he should. He, there is no point that he should carry on boxing. I had people close to me that were even. After this ass beating, you, you I don't can't think you do gonna want it, bro. That fuel, and I, and I used it to push me. I used it to push me for my last fight that I had against that that I had with Fuzi, August twenty seventh, and I just said, you know what. It's time to shut some people up. It's time to really shut some people up. And that's exactly what I did. I had people doubt me, tell me that they don't see any, any chance of victory for me. And now look at me. I'm about to share the ring with the greatest boxer of all time. You about to share that motherfucker, all right. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know, man. I genuinely don't know. I like the words that Deji's using, man. I appreciate the confidence. You know what I'm saying? I see you, Deji. I see you. You know, but you know there's so many buts in this. There's so many this but and but and but. You know there is. You know what you're getting yourself into. Have you seen what Floyd has been doing to these motherfuckers in these exhibitions? He has been whooping they ass. Not holding back at all. Getting his money. You know, if this is just a money move, you know what I'm saying? By all means, go ahead. But what I really want Deji to take from this is please learn something from this not everybody gets to fight the goat you know please learn something just know when after you fight floyd i hope your level just like elevates like your boxing skills and your boxing level just elevate you know what i'm saying this is basically like training with Whis from dragon ball z <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i hope that you just learn something from this ass whoop not fight this is gonna be an ass beat he's going to hurt you so yeah guys if, if anything, if there's anything you should take from my journey, don't give up. Because opportunities, it can come at any moment in time. And there, there might be that one time that you just, you just choose to give up. But if you just pushed a little bit more, you would have seen greatness. I don't want, I don't want to make this like a motivational type thing, but I just want you to see my journey and I want you to be able to kind of just kind of resonate with it and see that you should not give up in anything if people tell you to stop carry on don't give up I've eliminated some words in my vocabulary
can't. I'm not saying that anymore. I used to always say I can't do this. Yeah, okay, I say can't, can't no more. That, not anymore. Can't is gone from my vocabulary. Obviously, I just I said it now, but it, I'm trying to give. <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah. Anyway, but I, nah, I, I that's when I, and I still push through it. So don't don't let anyone anyone say you can't do anything, because you can, and I promise you, you can. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna be fighting Floyd Mayweather November thirteenth. You right. Make sure you guys subscribe because I'm going to be doing updates and everything. I'm going to be doing vlogs. I'm going to be doing everything leading up to the fight. We're going to be having press conferences. All of that. Everything will be on my channel. So make sure you guys subscribe. Follow me on my socials, obviously. Everything will be probably here. And yeah, guys, thank you so much. This, for those who believed in me. I've seen your DMs on Instagram. I appreciate you guys. I really do. And I'm going to be sharing the ring with Floyd Mayweather. And it's going to be amazing. Thank you. Alright y'all, well, you heard it there. You heard it there. You heard it there man, Deji's going to be fighting Floyd Mayweather. Deji, you are a stupid son of a bitch. I would never do some shit like that. I don't want my ass beat. But you know, sometimes for a bag, you gotta get your ass beat. If the bag is right, the bag is right. You know, so I'll be watching the fight. I'll be reacting to it, man. I'll cover it on my channel as usual. Y'all know how we do it over here on Big Rick TV, man. Um, But without further ado, comment down below of what y'all think of the situation. Should Deji be fighting Floyd Mayweather? You know, I feel like I, I want to, I've wanted to see better things. Like, I want Floyd to fight like Jake Paul. Something crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be perfect. I don't know. We'll see. But comment down below, man, what y'all think of the fight. You know, who do you think's gonna win? <laughs> don't answer that because we already know. Without further ado, man, um, it's been your boy Big Rick. Big Rick TV, we going to the top and we out. Peace. I don't know. <laughs>